we'd cover wood stoves. And, you know, my preference in the jungle is always to have, a, you know, an open fire, not, not to use a stove. But, you know, the truth is sometimes it's so wet and rainy that, um, you know, a stove is really going to help you out. So the various types of stoves you could take in. I just wanted to look at one of the most basic today, which is, is wood stoves. And there are two main types. There's, you know, your standard sort of hobo stove, like this one. And, you know, what people call a, you know, wood gasifier type stove like this. And the main difference between these two is that with the hobo stove, you, you're basically lighting the fire at the bottom and uh, you know adding fuel on top. With this one, you fill it up with fuel and light the fire at, at the top of the, the, the part of wood. So let's start with the, the hobo stove. I mean, obviously, the advantage of um, you know a stove is that when you have a pot on top of it like that, it's pretty much sheltered from the rain. So, you know, it, it, it's easier to keep it going when it's very wet. Um, the disadvantage, I mean, starting with the hobo stoves, my experience has been that hobo stoves work best if they're big, you know, then they work really well. But, you know, who's going to carry a great big can around with them? And your chances of finding a big can in the jungle are small. But, you know, you may well have a, you know, a can of food or whatever with you that you can knock up a hobo stove from. But that means it's going to be quite small. When they're small, um, they, they need more attention and you, know, you need to kind of keep feeding them and checking they don't go out and what have you. So they're a bit sort of, um, they, they require quite a lot of attention, let's put it that way. They can also be very smoky, although that's not necessarily a big problem in the jungle. Um, so, you know, the hobo stove, yeah, it's okay, um, but you're, gonna, you know, you're just going to be feeding it and looking after it you know, all the time. Another alternative is, is the wood gasifier, which is a you know, stove like this one. And actually I'll start by showing you this. This is, um, this is a design using tin foil. And what, what you've got basically is you've got air vents uh, at the bottom of the can and you've got air vents about three quarters of the way up the can. What happens is the, you put the wood in, you light it at the top, and you, you get two burn areas. You get a burn area just above the pile of wood, but you get secondary burning from hot air and gases that are sucked in through these holes. Uh, and it's a very um, efficient way of burning wood. In fact, this was developed for you know, third world countries to try and help them um, get a, a stove that didn't uh, produce so much smoke and was very efficient with wood. So, you know, they're really good. Now, you know, this one, the, the problem is you've got to have air coming in. You've got to, you've got to have an, uh, an opening underneath the stove to let air in. Uh, and you need a space above the stove here as well. And, you know, here I've used wire, but you're unlikely to have wire in the jungle. So I thought I'd just show you some sort of maybe survival techniques that you can use. How to make one just with a parang um, and a tin can. And how to make one uh, using bamboo. So... This uh, gasifier, this wood gasifier, you know, I made just with a parang. It, you know, take, takes maybe two, three minutes to make it. It's very easy to make. And it works. Now, you'll see, you know, people develop some beautiful designs for wood gasifiers with nesting tins and all sorts of stuff like that. You don't really need it. Actually, that will work very well. Um, and, you know, in a jungle, you're not going to be faffing around with, uh, you know, anything like that anyway. So... That's your basic wood gasifier that, you know, you, as I say, you can make simply using a parang, um, you know, and a tin can.
problem you've got though now is that the air inlets at the bottom, so you can't put this on the ground. So you need to make something, you know, you can use something like this, a piece of bamboo that it can sit on top, or you could use um, stones, or you could use like three sticks to, to hold it off the ground, to allow the air to come in through the bottom of the can. Um, the other thing, of course, is unlike this one, we're not going to be able to rest the pot on, on top of it, so we're just going to suspend, you know, you need, you need to be able to suspend the pot, uh, you know, above the uh, stove, but I mean, that's not difficult to do. So that's, uh, a, you know, a wood gasifier made simply with a parang. Just um, out of interest, I tried making uh, a wood gasifier using um, a soda or a beer can, actually. Uh, and it worked, it worked twice, which was, um, which I was quite surprised. I mean, the metal was just melting like anything. And on the second go, the, the bottom fell out of the can. But it can be done, you know, and, and <laughs> it's very easy to make it. This is not a thing of beauty, but, uh, you know, it does work. So you could make one out of a, a, a soda can or a beer can if you wanted to. In one of the earlier vi videos, I showed you how to make a hobo stove using bamboo. But you can also make um, you know, a wood gasifier out of bamboo as well. I mean, obviously, you're only going to get one go out of it, maybe two goes out of it. But if you wanted to, you, know, you can do it and you, know, you can leave gaps here so that the air can come in underneath. Uh, actually, this one, the bottom's burnt out of it. But it, again, it works. So you know, if you wanted to, you can uh, make one out of bamboo. So, you know, the, the, the wood gasifier stove um, you know, works very well once you've got it lit. And, and I think that's the thing that um, you know, can be quite tricky with these. Basically, you know, you put your fuel in horizontally, like little, little twigs. You fill it up, you know, maybe just, just uh, up to the, uh, the, these air vents here. And then to get it lit, what you need to do is kind of build a fire on top here. And it, you need to build a reasonably good fire, you know, get it really going for it to ignite the, um, the, the top layer of uh, fuel that you've got inside your, your stove. And that can be a bit tricky to get them going, which can be a bit of a nuisance. In the jungle, we've, you know, you, you've got uh, dama or resin. I mean, once, once, you, once you know where to look for it, you find quite a lot of this stuff and you get great big rocks like that. If you've got dama, uh, then it's very easy to, to get these going because you just stick a bit of dama, dama on top and you know build a little fire on top of the dama and, and dama is going to sort of keep the flame going uh, you know until this wood um, below it ignites you know but basically uh, you know if you're thinking of using this technique I suggest you try lighting a few of these stoves um, first because you'll, you'll quickly see uh, you know that it can be a little bit tricky sometimes. My preference is to use a, an open fire and you know, a setup like this is going to keep sort of moderate rain you know, off the fire and, and you, even a small fire like this will keep going. But in very heavy rain you need a stove so you know, it, it, it's something that I think is worth taking in. You know, wood stoves are good because the fuel is all around you, you're not going to run out of that fuel, you don't have to carry it with you, you just go and collect it as you would collect firewood. But I do find that they take as much time and effort in a way as, as setting up a small little fire like this. So as I say, my preference would always be to go this way. I wouldn't carry a wood stove with me. I mean, I think there are better options. I'd rather have a, an alcohol stove or a gas stove. But at the same time, I think it's worth you know, knowing how to make those um, sort of emergency uh, tin can <clears throat> uh, wood stoves with a parang. That's useful to know how to do because, you know, in a very heavy downpour, a stove is really your best chance of being able to boil water um, you know, and, and if, if you don't have an alcohol stove or a gas stove, uh, you know, the wood stove is going to be your only option, really.